Hello everyone, this is Vintage Problem Guy. Today, we're going to be doing Mini System Test 1 with the FCI FC2024 2-Zone Conventional Fire Alarm Control Panel. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, you know, we have we have the panel, the FCI panel. It's been a while since you guys have seen this panel, so... I actually haven't used this panel in a while because obviously if you all can tell I got the 4004 up there now so cause that's the, that's gonna be the the new garage system as you can see got all those devices and I see yeah we got the sublux electromechanical horns on the 4903 stroke plates again yeah but that's not gonna be for a future system test videos so yeah that's probably that's probably gonna be system test 46 so I don't know if I told you guys but yeah I've been getting uh, these system tests, but it was pre-recorded, so they're ready for the next, obviously for the next couple of Fire Frights that's gonna be coming up, so. All right, anyway, back to the mini system. Um, so the last system test um, you guys saw with this panel was system test 31, and that was with the, and that's when we did the Gamel FCI devices. Um, and that pretty much included the FCI horn strobe and the strobe with the FCI MS2, well, rebranded by Fenwall, and then the Siblex Canadian pole and the 2400. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description or in the comments below so you guys can go check that out. So, all right, so let's go ahead and let's go over the devices on the mini system that we have today. So, on zone one, I obviously have the Firelight BG12. You know, this is on zone one, it's conventional. Next to it, I have the system sensor I3. This is on zone two. And then for the notification appliance, we have my system sensor uh, Spectral Classic model P1224MC, sent on 15 Candela, and code three electromechanical horns. So, yep, and I believe it's on high volume. So, All right, so that was pretty much the overview of the devices on the mini system. So I guess without further ado, I guess we'll start things off with the Firelight BG12. And one thing I'm gonna mention, this is gonna be doing audible silence. So if you guys have, uh, if any of you guys have epilepsy or seizures to flash and light your strobe lights, please do not watch this video. Anyway, here we go. All right, as you can see, we got our silence. Now we go ahead and reset the BG12. All right, that's reset. And now we can go ahead and reset the system. Silence that. All right, so that way the light don't keep flashing. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and activate the second initiating device on the system, which is the system sensor I3. Here we go. There we go. All right, that was the detector, and now we can go ahead. Well, I guess we'll realarm uh, the system using the Firelight BG12. Get this to open up. Here it goes. And then I think this time we're going to key activate the BG12. So, anyway, here it goes. All right. So, I guess I guess that was all of the initiating devices. So, we can go ahead and reset the system. All right. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for mini system test number one. Yep, you can see we just kind of the pretty much the good old Spectral Classic when the with some Firelight Notifier stuff, you know, on the FCI panel. You get the idea. So, but yeah, so I think next mini system test will be mini system test number two. I'm just I'm not, I'm not sure what I want to do for mini system test number two. I don't know. I'll figure I'll figure it out. So. Well, anyway, that pretty much wraps up for me, System Test 1. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one. Have a great day, everyone.